be birdies. Birdies have a strict quality code. My bulls are quality. Well, the only number left in the state of Georgia is zero. So welcome, Troop Zero. We all got it in one badge each to go to Jamboree. Buy my cookies so I can be a woman of substance. Have fun and puke, Miss Rayleigh. Don't puke before you get the money, boo. Y'all suck at being girls. We ain't got nobody to show us how to be better. Be that one for us. But Jesus. Allison, I loved this movie. Oh, good. I'm so glad. It's really something that I feel little girls or just people in general need right now. Yeah, it's a feel feel good movie. It's a girl power movie. It's it's a it's a movie about reaching for the stars literally. It's a movie of uh, of people embracing their girls embracing their their differences and their quirkiness and and finding strength in that and and it's just a beautiful beautiful movie. To make a troop, we need a minimum of four scouts. <laughs> You know I ain't your friend, right? Yeah, I know that. Smash gets to come, too. <gasps> Wanna help the most poor, struggling fools of the earth? Yes! Miss Raylene, be your latest to glory. You just setting yourself up for your little heart to get broke? No, I set myself up to change my whole life. There were so many different lovely, funny personalities in these characters. Yeah. And I personally saw so much of myself in Christmas. Oh. <laughs> like, down to like the hair cutting. I mean, <laughs> I mean, no joke. Uh, so I want to know, out of, you know, out of all the different types of characters that you know these little girls played, who did you guys identify with the most? That's a hard one. I mean, Hell No is a great character. I mean, if you were to ask my sisters, I, I probably was Hell No I many, many times. I was definitely Hell No at times. <laughs> And a smash, and Christmas, and you know, I think that I probably. Oh boy, yeah, I was. I if you were to, you know, gel all of those three together, that's who I was. <laughs> <laughs> I really was. Good afternoon, birdies. Who's excited for jamboree? <laughs> There's something special this year. An opportunity to be a part of science. This is Dr. Prasad, all the way from NASA. We are putting together a record of life to launch into space. We will be recording people at the Jamboree. Raise your hands if you like to think about outer space. The girls. When you were growing up, I mean, were you, were you the perfect girl, or were you a little bit more like Christmas? No, I was, <clears throat> I was the, I was the impossibly tall girl that everyone made fun of, you know, all the time. How's the weather up there? How's the? And I felt so, I'm such a. It's such a, I'm so shy, and um, it's just an odd thing that I <laughs> found myself in this very tall body um, uh, because you can't hide or be shy, or you're just every, you're right there, you know. My so daughter I, is ten; yeah. she's already five two. So I think really? we're going to be able to identify with it. Well, send her to ballet classes. That's what my mother did, and okay. it helped me learn to stand up tall and be, uh, you know, be graceful, and and it, it really t taught me how to own my body and be in charge of it and know how it looked. It was it was an important um, uh, part of my development. So. so then when did it finally, when did you finally just feel comfortable in your own skin? At what point? That has not happened. <laughs> <laughs> Allison is still waiting. <laughs> you get so many different scripts that come across your desk. Mm. What was it about Troop Zero that, you know, not only was it at, at the point that you did, it was an independent that made you want to, to take on Miss Raylene? probably for all the reasons why you like the film. You know, that it's fun, it's funny, it's, uh, there's a lightness to it, but also at the center of the narrative is something very important. It's about, you know, how do you matter? How do you find your value, you know, in, 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 a, in a culture, in a place that is giving you no value, you know? How do you live on forever? Um, there was something about that that really touched me, you know, growing up as an outsider, you know. I think I could be part alien. I sure as heck hope not. I worry about your Christmas. Talk to me about, you know, working together and like figuring out the little dynamic between the two of you. I just, I'm a big fan of hers, obviously. I mean, who isn't? But um, it's really cool whenever you get to go on set and work with these people who are like your role models or you've just watched in so many films, you're like, oh my gosh, these are like these, and like, these so talented. She's so talented. So it's like, it would be intimidating, like, oh my gosh, I could, like, she's 
this amazing award-winning actress, but I know that she's just a person, that she's really kind and sweet. And that really helped because she's such a kind person. So that really helped with, our, with the chemistry on set and everybody was just really nice and kind. And so that was really, really great because we had so much fun on this set. This is your second time working with McKenna. I know, I'm lucky. And she is just magnificent. Yeah, she's pretty special. Talk she's, to me about working with her. Um, She's, um, this is my second time, and, and she's, she's just, I'm so impressed with her, her work ethic, first of all, as such a young girl. She comes to set, she knows her lines, she's very professional, she knows how to, you know, when she has to do a crying scene, she take, you know, steps aside and does what she needs to do and comes into, like, she knows how to work her instrument for such a young girl. It's kind of remarkable. I don't, I'm still trying to figure out how to, <laughs> two things that she's she's already figured out, and I and and acting with her, she's she's uh, I'm always so um, surprised at how present she is as a young girl. She's there, and, and when I'm doing a scene with her, she's really listening to me and really really there for me, which is um, which is a wonderful quality to have. And then there's that little bit of magic that she has with her, just she's just for who she is, her spirit, her which it, it, it's just inside her. She's. A magical little girl. She pops off yeah. the screen. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're Troop welcome. Zero is on Amazon Prime on January 17th. Please go out and see it. Go see it right now. You can just just, just go show. now. Go watch it right now. <laughs> thank you so much. Come on and take a free ride. What kind of world would it be if every strange little girl thought she could just do whatever she wanted? Come on and take a free ride. This is what God gave me to work with, and I'm gonna make it beautiful because it's mine. Well, we look forward to seeing what you little girls are made of. Uh-huh, what is it, Angel? We're made of organs and tissues. <laughs> Looks well out. Life comes at you hard, you sit at home fire. Don't do nothing half-ass. I don't want to do anything with half an ass. Ah!